oya te mankha ke le akan ya umpi na oya te mankha ka kan ta ku aste unya ka pe ona we cho ye oet kho ya oya gala ka pe chunke oya te kho me sha ke la la kho ti oya gala king te lo ona oke chi ka khne ga pe ni chans na othe ki ke lo ho ke ash chante etan we yuk champe hanta waste lo on a nasula on wiyuk chompi hanta ha oye chi chak ni rapi oya ki pishnelo. Ho he chuns e ampetu ke le trokya la kotya un wo chi chakapelo. I hear your language and I think it's beautiful language. Maybe you don't think so. All I know is I know how to say khuki khashli. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know much about your language, but I do understand everything you're talking about in German language. But I have learned to respect languages, and I learned not to abuse them by trying to talk in that language, because it was not given to me as this language that I'm speaking is a contrary language called the English language. To us, it's contrary because it's a language for lawyers. Every word you say can be used against you. <clears throat> so therefore, it becomes a lawyer's language. <clears throat> and I wanted to greet you there in, in my language, in the Lakota, Lakota people's language. And what I have said is that when you learn the languages of other people and you speak from the mind and from your head and from memory, many times only negative things come when you speak from the mind. So my people have learned to speak from the heart. And when we speak from our heart, very many people use it against us because we tell the truth and we talk what we feel and how we feel our language. Our language, we say, the language of the Lakota people is a sacred language. It's a spiritual language to us. And for those that try to learn, there is a basis for every word that is said. And it is sacred, and it has to do, it has to do with the water that you drink. Life giving substance. It has to do with the fire, which is the sun that gives energy. It has to do with the earth, our mother, where the substance of life come, energies of the food. Yesterday was a memorial day in America. It was called Thanksgiving Day. I'm sad that all the turkeys have to die. <laughs> but I'm also not satisfied that there are many turkeys walking around on two legs that should be going also. <clears throat> but in that memory of talking about this called Thanksgiving Day in America. That the percentage of the food that you eat this morning at breakfast you took from Mother Earth as you have done every day of your life. But did anyone thank God for the food? The old people, our grandfathers, did this. And even against the animal, he chased the buffalo. And when he came upon the buffalo, he pulled the bowstring back and he released the arrow and he said, Forgive me, brother, but my people must live. And he took every part of the buffalo the hide and the hoof, the horns, the skulls, the bones and use them for a form
to live, to make something, a sustenance of life. And after he butchered the buffalo, he took the skull of the buffalo and he faced it to the south, to the spirit world that lies beyond, as a thanksgiving to those yet to come, the future generations. It has been since 1981, since I came here. It's been a long time. Ten years have passed. The chemicals have washed into the waters since that time. And let's hope that it doesn't happen again, because as you know, this chemical company is an American company. But who takes the blame? That's, you know, how life is. When you accept big companies to your country, then you take the blame. The country that is <clears throat> involved does not take the blame. We speak from the heart and from the mind in our language. The language of the Lakota people is so beautiful that I encourage not only my own people but other people who are interested in the spiritual way of teaching to learn the language. Then you're going to see a different connection. Every song that we sing is a prophecy received by someone on a mountain in a distant past. We don't say that it is the best and the only one, but only to let you know that the basis of all language is that way. Some have lost their connection to the Earth Mother. In the very beginning of time, the Earth was not called Mother Earth. The old people prayed, Before all things grew upon this earth, God resided on this earth, long before. <clears throat> and it was called Grandfather, the earth itself. As the earth as a living entity, the earth is a living matter of stones, of trees and plants. So we look at, for thousands of years, we looked at the earth as a grandfather. Then came the time we call Unchi. The spiritual teaching of our people came from 80 to 100,000 years ago. That's the carbon dating technique that you have this day. And at this time it was called Unchi, grandmother, for the earth started to cool and started to take form and plants started to grow. And later, as it gave the sustenance of life, the food that you have on your table, we call it our mother. And how did it become our mother? It became our mother because of man. For man is never without a mother in this world. Your mother brings you into this earth and your mother passes on to the spirit world. And then your home becomes your mother. <clears throat> 